judge today's case three-way. Not a suggestive DM message, not hearsay from a friend. She actually caught him in bed with two women. Let's see how this one works out. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toler presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Ashley Mazion and Rasheen Harris. The two of you have been together for four years. Ms. Mazion, you are seeking $300 for an unpaid loan from Mr. Harris, and we will talk about that momentarily. But before we do, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why we're here today in divorce court? This man has the nerve to be upset with me because I'm not ready to have his baby. My intuition has been leading me to believe that he's been cheating on me, especially when I came home from work early one day mm -hmm. and caught him in our bedroom with not one, but two women. <laughs> now, I, I get in the house, I hear noises coming from the bedroom. The kids are at school, so no one is home but Rasheen. So I tiptoe to the bedroom door, I peek in, and he's in the bed with two, two women who he claimed were his clients. What do you do for a living, Mr. Harris? <laughs> um, based on her story, two women, but um, I, I'm, I'm a photographer. That was pretty good. I'm a photographer. <laughs> I enjoyed that. <laughs> uh, Mr. You're a photographer? Yeah, Did I'm a photographer. Did she catch you in bed with two women? It's a, I feel like it's a hyper-exaggeration, because as far as he's saying bedroom, we have a, another bed in the house in the basement. Right? Uh huh. And as far as her knowledge, uh, we was in the basement. She didn't actually see anything. The two women are there. They was a bed, but we was doing a boudoir shoot, which is normally like lingerie, some, you know, nice. Were you in the bed with them? At the moment, yeah, because. <laughs> no. Were you trying to get a better camera angle? What was going on? Well, all right, so. <laughs> it's not. All right, so it's, it's normally what you see, you believe, I mean, but she didn't see anything like that. The thing is, it was a long shoot. It was towards the end of it. She came in during the part when the, the ladies happened to pull me in. We was joking around, but I, I was, I had clothes on. Like, you can't do anything with clothes on. Sure you Still can. Have, uh, well, I Your can't honor. do any, I can't do they any. They had clothes on, but they were under the covers. So I'm assuming they were naked. When all I came in the room... Run, all three of y'all were under the covers? N no, no, no. I wasn't <laughs> under the covers. I was... I was getting out of the bed when she was coming in. Pretty much, I pulled her out of the room. I don't even know why she's saying that she's seen anything, because I didn't have... It. I, nothing happened. Let's say the, the situation was reversed. You walk in, and she's in the bed with two dudes. She's not a photographer. Yeah, yeah. but still... Wait, 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 wait. First of all, how are you going to be filming two women in our bedroom? If you're going to do a photo shoot, you do it outside of the home. You don't bring these women in our bedroom without my permission. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mr. Harris, your response I mean, to that would be... I'm not home. It's, it sounds good. But at the same time, right, I do photo shoots. I have a little studio in the basement, and... Now, does he have a studio in the basement? He does. Well, then that, that's what that is. Exactly. She honor. complains now, but when the they money's coming in, the in for the studio and She's all the all photo shoots... She's all good shoot, with it. It's good, <laughs> yeah. right? We go shopping, you go shopping, you got your nice outfits, you got your nice shoes, right? So... It's only a problem when it's, like, a situation that she's unsure of. Yes. Yeah, so Mr. Harris, she says that you call her an attention whore. Oh, absolutely. Why don't you tell me why you do it and what kind of things she does that causes you concern? Well, the biggest thing that I have a concern with is that she likes to show off her, her tattoos. And she has, like, two of her favorite tattoos, which is actually on her butt cheeks. Uh-huh. Right? <laughs> yeah, butt cheeks. And the thing about it, she also she's an amazing dancer, too. She can dance, and she happens to be what, uh, I guess, online would be considered a twerk queen. A twerk oh, queen. Oh, really? Yeah, so any that's opportunity... That's not true, Your Honor. That's not true. Any opportunity... This is the first time she's been on camera not and didn't get it, like, oh, okay. You know? <laughs> so, you know? Let's... Like... Is that you, you, Miss Mazion? No, ma'am. Turn Let's... around. Turn around. Turn around. <laughs> You. We were at the beach. We were at the pool. I mean, that's what we do. Sun's out, buns out. <laughs> it's not like I do it everywhere we go. I mean, we was at the pool. Will you tell me some inappropriate things she's done and places she's done them in? 
The most inappropriate is pretty much when we have like a little house get togethers. I got my friends over. Like, my gosh. You know, we have a few of her female friends over. Cool, right? Everybody's drinking, having fun, etc. But as soon as like, for some reason, she like, she loves music, I love music too, but she'll put a song on. And it's a song that she can't help herself, right? Right. My guys is around though, right? Mm -hmm. My best people. They can't they can't help themselves but to watch the show. And then she just like, ah! Certain, certain attire that she wears, right, it's also allowing it to show her tattoos. Now, Rasheed knew what it was when he signed up, Your Honor. When we, we met in a strip club. He were with his friends, I were with mine. We were all having a good time dancing. He walked past me and it went from there. Everything happened so fast. You know, we, we moved in together, so it's not like he didn't know I was this type of woman. He right. knew what it was before he signed up, so my thing is, why complain about it now? Right, right. You know, you, you, you set those boundaries at the beginning of the relationship. You don't wait to down the line to, you know, to come out with all these demands and commands and all of this such. Mm -hmm. So my thing is, don't try to make it seem like I'm just twerking for, you know, social media. But we talking we're about in a down club the line setting. now, though. We talking about down the line now. We're in a club setting. Has, she does make a good point that she was doing it when you met her. What's changed? Have you had a conversation? Have you had a, 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 a change of heart? Or you just think because the relationship has become a different entity that she ought to change her behavior? When I came home from work early and seen those two women in our bedroom, Sheesh. That was, <laughs> that's what this whole thing is about. He's going left field. I'm not the one that got caught cheating, you know? Did so you? My thing is the twerking has nothing to do the twerking is no better than him being caught in the bedroom. I believe it's mainly because the situation has changed. I feel like I matured a little bit myself. I feel like we both have. So I feel like the way we carry ourselves, especially when you're with me, you shouldn't even be thinking about doing that because she knows I don't like it. So it's, I feel like it's just straight disrespectful for her to mm -hmm. even do something like that when I already explained to you, I dislike it, right? I already told got... her that it was a problem. It's a problem. Yeah. And your mother. I mean, that she was mother. a problem too. I mean, that was the initial reason we're being here today because the cheating. When I came home from work early and seen those two women in our bedroom, sheesh. That was just, <laughs> that's what this whole thing is about. He's going left field. I'm not the one that got caught cheating, you know. Did so. You... My thing is, the twerking has nothing to do, the twerking is no better than him being caught in the bedroom. Okay, I gotcha. I think that might have, a little suspect, but it was a studio. I might, you know, the if, bedroom if, is if not that a studio, was, your honor. if there was a number of situations that you could bring my attention Thank to you. that this was consistent with, I, I oh, would tell you. Oh, there definitely was some situations Well, now. tell me about them. Tell me about them. Okay, like one day when I was gonna get ready to do our laundry, separating all the clothes, and I see lipstick print on his boxers. <gasps> he tells me that it's my lipstick print. Same color as your lipstick. No, ma'am, I know my lipstick colors, Your Honor. That was not mine. You know what, I let it slide because like I said, my intuition had already been leading me to believe that he's been mm -hmm. cheating. That was just one scenario. But when I came home and seen the women in the bed, that that just was the fuel to the fire. I got you. I got you. Now, you say... I understand we have a studio in the basement, but that's what it's for. Our bedroom is not the studio. I got you. I got you. I got you. So they were in the upstairs bedroom, not they downstairs were, in the they studio? Were in the upstairs. It led downstairs because that's where the fight led to when he decided to leave and go stay with his family member. So like you were he upstairs in the bedroom? You, 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 you misdirected me, my man. We, well, one of, they had to use the restroom and uh, And you had to go well. The downstairs bathroom is a mess right now. We actually got to get it fixed. The toilet is not really flushing. So they was using the restroom. That's what I'm saying, like, from But how she... did you get up there and in the bed with them? <laughs> I wanted to make sure everything, like, they had tissue, made sure that No, he just, he just didn't know that I was going to 
going to be getting I'm right with you, Ms. Mazion. I'm right there with you. That's how I would have I was going to be leaving work early that day. So if I would have never left, I would have never known. What job? Job interview. You know I do hair and I bartend part time, so let's not go there. I got that part. I got that part. We're going to talk about it. But, Ms. Mazion, you say that he is so controlling. Like, when you go out, he will grab you up because he doesn't like what you're doing. Tell me about that. Yes, like like I say, we like to party. You know, we have friends that always invite us out to parties and gatherings. So we were out at the club. We we're having a good time, um, dancing, enjoying myself. And the next thing you know, he comes in, grab me, pulls me, and tells me, "You're doing too much. Get your A over here." Were well, you doing too much? But Rasheen, you know that but we Rasheen, always. Rasheen, she didn't say no. You know no. how I am. When I'm at the club, I'm the life of the party. I like to dance. I can't help that I'm free spirited. Everyone loves me. But I was not cheating. Mr. Harris, Mr. Harris, Mr. Harris, how much is too much? What was going on? She's saying I'm entertaining a woman. She's entertaining the club. I was dancing. Yeah. That's what you do at the club. You dance. You entertain the club? You enjoy yourself. But if you, you with me, time. right, and you know I dislike that, maybe I want to spend some time with you and enjoy the music. Well, the Rasheen, club. if you want to spend time, we have to go to a place together and spend time, not in a club. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and for exclusive content, go to Apple TV. She turns it up. So, like, whenever we go, like, I think I remember, like, the instances she's talking about, but it's because she started it early. Like, you can't just come in a club, like, if you're on my, just boom. Oh, that's my song! You just get started. Yeah. And it's, but what like, about that same night not... in the club? But I the... see him in a woman's face. Well, he know no. he was wrong, Miss Your Honor, because when I walk towards him, I'm he, he walks away from the lady because mm -hmm. he knows that I'm coming and he knows what's about to happen. Listen, you have no business when your aunt, entertaining know, another woman in right. the club with your woman in there. She's saying I'm entertaining a woman. She's entertaining the club. I was dancing. Yeah. That's what you do at the club. You dance. You entertain you, the club. You enjoy yourself. But if you with me, time. right, and you know I dislike that. Maybe I want to spend some time with you and enjoy the music. Well, in the club. Rasheed, if you want to spend time, we have to go to a place together and spend time, not in a club. <laughs> now, Mr. Harris, let me ask you this: You say that she's verbally abusive. Says you ain't crap. You'll never be crap. Tell me about what she says and when she says it. She likes to go crazy. Let's say if I don't have a chance to respond, like to a text message, like she'll go, "Hey," like it starts off sweet. Uh -huh. It really starts off sweet. Hey, babe, just checking on you. Hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, I seen the, like, she just into spiritual angel numbers. So, like, I seen the number, that means you're about to have amazing change, you enjoy your day, something like that. If I don't respond, hey, babe, did you see my text? Just checking on you, seeing what you want for dinner, something like that. Mm. Next thing you know, where you at? Next one, oh, you must be with your boo. <laughs> Next thing, oh, tell that B, if I see her, if I catch y'all, it's on, right? Well, Your Honor, my Ms. Mazion, does that occur? Your Honor, first of all, <laughs> that would be a yes. And I see where you're going with that, because it's just crazy. How you doing? Do you, what do you want for dinner? You must be with your boo. I get that. <laughs> My question is, how long between, how much time elapses between the first text and that last That's one? That's within a 20-minute period. Oh. Oh. Exactly. So that was plenty of enough time to respond. That's a long period of time? <laughs> That's long? Yeah. That's long? A text message That's not even a lunch break. To see him. <laughs> Ms. Mazion, are you serious? Do you want to text me all day long? If I have time to text all day long, I'm not doing what I said I was going to do in the first place. Right. You working. I'm working. <laughs> the bills are paid. So it's showing that I'm working. But you don't have to stay out late every night after work. You ain't, there is no way. It's not every night, there though. There is no way that it's he's not every night. staying out late. Mr. Harris, are you fooling around on her? No. Black men yeah. don't cheat. You and Charlemagne. <laughs> Charlemagne, I believe. I'm not so sure about you. Because well, he, guess... he, 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 he fessed up to what he was doing. Mr. Harris, I was right with you. Listen. Until you, I asked you that question, and your response was so hesitant and weak. Are you doing some wrong things? I talk, but, like, after... 
bitch. I mean, yeah, the women in the band were a dead giveaway. Oh, so. that's, that's that. No, 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 no. Yeah, he's cheating. So the way I, I'm a spiritual person myself, that's where our biggest connection even started. We both spiritual people, right? I feel like I'm single, right? Until that marriage license or whatever, when I found my taxes, says married. A title to me is just another delay of sometimes a situationship, which happens a lot of times. So well, I feel like our hang love. On, hang on, do you believe that you're in a situationship with her? I love her, but at the same but time, but you're in a situation. It feels and, like it. And to you, situationships allow you to to dally about a bit with say, other women. Dally about sounds like I'm doing something. But when I say that I talk, I mean that I actually talk. I just gotta be honest, because you brought it up. You said building a household, kids, etc. Like, that's another thing. Like, I want my own kids. All of her children that she has are by other men. I want you to hear me. <laughs> this man just told you you're in a situation, not a relationship. This man just told me that if you're not married, you're not married. You do not have another man's baby unless you're married to him. <laughs> you should never allow a man to put his future in your body unless he's committed to a future with you. You've already made that mistake three times. Don't make it again. Right. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, you say you, you loaned him $300 to go gamble. I he should. lost it and won't pay it back. Explain it to me. Your Honor, I lent him $300 because he said, babe, I want to go to the casino with the guys. Let me borrow $300. I'm going to gamble. I'm going to flip it. I'm going to give you your $300 back plus interest. So I'm all for it. Yeah, I want some extra money. How much interest did you decide on that amount? No, he just Never told me Never be was... vague with money. If you're going to charge him interest, charge him interest. Know what the number is. Just saying. Go ahead. <laughs> well, he went to the casino. I gave him the $300. He lost the whole $300. Then had the nerve to tell me, well, I pay the bills, I pay the rent, it's okay. Oh, oh, Mind oh. you, he's controlling, so he wants to know where every dollar that I spend go anyway. So he feels like he doesn't have to pay the $300 back. So I was furious, I was, I was, when I tell you I was furious, I was, I flattened his tire. <laughs> you don't give me that $300, you won't have a tire. Now you gotta go buy you a tire. Yeah, it was immature, but my thing was, we're under the same roof, yeah, true enough, but you don't know what I wanted to do with my money. You, you can't be in control of everything. That is my money. I got yeah, you. I, I got it to him to let him borrow it, to, you know, because... I got you. I got you. You know what, Ms. Mazion? You just talked yourself out of $300. I was all ready to give it to you. You don't need to say anything because you, you, you don't have a problem. You got a problem. If he if he'd have asked you for three hundred, you loaned it to him. He didn't give you back, and you gambled it away. I would have given you the money. But then you said I went out and flattened his tires because he didn't do it. If you come into court, you got to come into court with clean hands. You can't come in here having done something ratchet. You know, you you know, admit to criminal conduct. <laughs> and then ask me to back your play. But I knew I wasn't going to. It don't matter. You could have had three hundred. And you went after the fool and talked yourself out of it. There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. Do you guys think you'll be able to move forward from here? To be honest with you, I'm not really sure. It just depends on if Rasheen gets on the same page as I am and we could just be able to work past our, you know, our disagreements. Like I say, he did get caught cheating, but I'm willing to move forth past that. We have a lot of history together. I mean, I do love him, so. I'm willing to make things work. I feel like we just really gotta have a good conversation and not an argument. You know, when we actually listening to each other, listen to what we both feel, and move from there.